Hey, what's up guys? Al Martinez back today again with another video. And for this video, we're gonna answer some questions that you guys asked me. So, a couple of days ago, I posted on my story on Facebook. Ng, yun nga. I said, I said another Q&A vlog, ask me anything. So, I posted on that and yeah, I didn't have any questions. For the first question, Ilang taon ka na? So, uh, sinabi ko na sa inyo guys, kung ilang taon na ako nung last video, actually, no, for, no, like, like, three videos ago. So, yeah, I'm only 21 years old, but I look like 28. I know that. So, yeah, it is what it is. For the second question, um, sabi niya, why so cool mo po? Hindi lang po ako cool. Talagang, it is just I love what I'm doing right now. So, yeah. For third um, question, galing ko sa pinsan po. Sabi niya, kailan uwi mo dito sa Pinas? So, uh, I was planning on going to the Philippines this May. Kaso nga lang, sarado pa yung Philippine Consulate sa LA. So, hindi pa ako mapagay ng passport. And, yeah. Kung hindi man pala rin this May, baka anytime this year na lang or possibly I hate to say this but baka next year kung wala akong choice dahil sa COVID and shit so and for the fourth question hindi ko sabihin kung sino to alam mo kung sino ang nagtanong nito sabi niya but kayo naghiwalay yun nga sabi ko nga din dun sa may uh, video na yun na nagsagot ako ng mga question sabi ko na Ayun nga, um, it was a mutual breakup. Um, we decided na, yun nga, maghihiwalay kami to grow, to, to be more mature or something else. But yeah, yun. For the fifth question, bakit po, <laughs> ba't po, ano, po ko pagmamahalan yung ginatanong nyo sa akin tungkol sa mga pag-indig? Sabi, mahal mo pa. To say na mahal is such a big word, but um, siguro yung care nandun pa. Kasi hindi mo mawala agad yun eh. Or hindi mo mawala yun, di ba? Kung minahal mo yung tao, yung care nandun pa din kahit anong yan. Pero yung word na mahal is a huge word. So, I care, I care about her, but yung mahal, hindi na hindi na tayo. And let's move to the next question. Sabi dito, Oh, uh, you know who you are, bro. You know who you are. Any thoughts about YSL Lanui Delong trying to get into the fragrance game just like you, bro? Lol. So, for that, hold on a second. So, yeah, to answer that question, bro, here you go. Um, this is actually my second bottle right here. Um, I ran out of it like two months ago, I think. And uh, for me, this is one of the greatest, um, greatest cologne I've ever had. Bro, I'm telling you right now. This one is a beast. This one is a beast. But I would prefer wearing this during um, summertime because this Yves Saint Laurent Lana Week Delone. This one is. It has kind of like. It has a fresh, spicy, aromatic cologne. For the openings for this, for the notes, I mean, it has um, cardamom, um, bergamot, and lavender. To be honest with you, for the opening for this one, it might be a little too overwhelming. The dry down for this one is beast. I'm telling you right now, bro. This one is a hell of a beast of a cologne right here. Actually, I'd prefer the UD Toilet over the Eau de Parfum because a lot of people have been telling me that the Eau de Parfum is much better than Eau de Toilet. Basically because um, the Eau de Parfum is kind of like the darker, more masculine, um, version of this one but I would prefer this rather than that I mean I like it as well but I like this much better and because this one is kind of like fresh just like I tell I just like what I told you um, it has a fresh spicy aromatic um, aromatic scent for this one 
I prefer this. It's kind of like a little, a little powdery, you know what I'm saying? So that should answer your question, bro. And welcome to the club. Thank you so much, bro. And for the next question, okay, we're going back to Tagalog. I don't feel like single sa Valentine's <laughs> haha. Well, guys, to answer the question, for me personally, I don't care about you know having a partner during Valentine's Day. Hindi naman po kaya talaga ng partner sa Valentine's Day. Eh, malungkot na de ba or what? Ang Valentine's Day for me is not just for couples or for partners or what not. Ang Valentine's Day kasi is yung alam mo na yung bigay ng love, lalo na sa loved ones mo, sa family mo. Hindi lang para sa jowa mo yung ganon de ba? So I don't, I don't really care about it. As long as I get all yung mga mahal ko sa buhay na masaya. Yeah. And for the next question, may natutunan ka, may natutunan ka sa past relationship mo. Bakit lahat ng tanong niyo ay tungkol sa past ko? Oh, madami akong natutunan actually. Natutunan ko na ano, na love yourself first. Na kapag nagmahal ka, wag mong kalimutan yung sarili mo, 'di ba? Wag mong kakalimutan yung sarili mo. Magtika ka na pagmamahal para sa sarili mo. I mean, hindi naman masama na magmahal ka na sobra. Pero make sure na magtika sa magtika ka ng pagmamahal para sa sarili mo kasi mahirap na kapag ka naghiwalay kayo tapos binigay mo lahat mo. Eh paano ka? 'Di ba? Saka hindi nasusukat ang pagmamahal sa tagal ng relasyon niyo, 'di ba? Minsan may mga relasyon diyan na mas matagal pa sa kung mas matagal, I mean kung ilang years na tapos diyan hindi naman talaga sila masaya diba so hindi basihan ang tagal na relasyon kung gaano yung nakamahal mahal ang isa't isa dumadating talaga yan kung mahal yung isa't isa dadating yan mahal na mahal din yung isa't isa maramdaman niya hindi lang dahil matagal na kayo eh mahal yung isa't isa diba yeah madami akong natutunan pero hindi ko naiisay sa kasi masyado madami but yeah that should, that should answer your question and we're going to the next question may bala ka magjowa ulit magkajowa ulit Well, oh na man, I mean, sino bang walang balak magkajawa, di ba? Or magka-someone. I mean, kaya nga nang sabi ko, dadating naman yan kung, kung may dadating. Dadating yan. Hindi ko naman pinipilit yung tadhana na biglang maibigay sa akin. Pero, yeah, nag-aantay lang ako kung sino dadating or kung anong dadating, di ba? So, we'll see. We're moving on the last question, I think. Do you have trust issues kasi matagal kayo and nagkahiwalay kayo? What kind of question is that? I mean, to answer the question, um, depende naman siguro kung paano kayo naghiwalay, diba? Kung ano rason kung ba't kayo naghiwalay or what. Pero yung sa akin naman, siguro hindi naman wala sa isip mo yung mga what ifs. Mga wala yun kapag ka na, pagka nakita mo na yung tawang tao para sa iyo. Pero yung what ifs na yan, siguro may isip mo pa din naman yan every once in a while, diba? Eh yun yung risk na kailangan natin itik para makita natin yung taong para sa atin talaga, diba? Kasi kung matatakot ka lang at matatakot kang magmahal ng paulit-ulit or matatakot kang masaktan ng paulit-ulit, eh, ba't ka ba magjowa, di ba? Kasi, parang, we all know naman na kahit ano mangyari, kahit makita natin or mamit natin yung parang tao, pat tao, para sa atin talaga, masasaktan o masasaktan tayo in every other way. You know what I'm saying? Parang, yung sakit na yan is part of our lives na, di ba? Parang, kung hindi ka nasasaktan, ba't ka pa buhay, di ba? Thank you so much for asking me these questions kahit na most of them are about my past relationship. But yeah, thank you so much guys. I really appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.